Hello everybody and welcome back to Sweet and Sour Soccer and of course this is week 11 of Championship Predictions and guys if I do look a little bit tired recording this the honest truth is because I am because it is half 10 on Wednesday night that I am recording this just so I can make sure I can get this video out for you guys tomorrow and of course I've just seen obviously the Wednesday fixtures unfold and looked into those and it's been a really good midweek championship games, hasn't it? There's been some shocks in there, as always, with the championship. And we're right back on it with another predictions video because there's no time to rest, is there? Because we've got games coming up this weekend. And to be fair, what a good set of fixtures they are. When I was looking into these, I thought, you know what? There's some really good fixtures. So let's waste no more time. Hit that like button for me. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. But let's more importantly get into these fixtures. And we're going to start off with back one Birmingham who take on West Brom and of course this is one of two Midlands derbies which are featured this weekend because you've also got Wolves taking on Aston Villa in the Premier League so what a fun uh, weekend for the West Midlands police force of course um, but when we look at the game this is two teams that are going into it with uh, pretty impressive wins and it's interesting because obviously all form goes out the window when it comes to derby games but you know, both did big wins. Uh, West Brom, um, they they got a win against Sheffield Wednesday and they're building up at least a little bit of form. And obviously Blues as well, a huge 4-1 win against Huddersfield. So both of these teams will be going into confidence. It's interesting to see that Blues managed to, um, you know, at least get a big win, a big statement win. I feel like they were starting to, um, you know, that good form that they had to start the season with was starting to fade a little. So maybe this is what they needed going into this game, especially being the home team as well. With this one, I think it's going to be a classic derby game. I think there's going to be goals to it. Maybe maybe a bit of a few yellow cards and whatnot in place as well. And I've gone for a 2 all draw in this one. Let's move on to speak about two teams that, well, are in fantastic form because Middlesbrough, so I still want to start off with you guys because you've really turned things around, haven't you now? Um, it was a 2-0 win against a very informed Cardiff team as well. Let's not forget the win that the Middlesbrough got midweek was against a very informed team. And suddenly now we've seen a, a little bit of form starting to build with Middlesbrough. They're back on track. They're starting to do what we expect them to maybe do towards the uh, start of the season. And you know, a team that was really struggling for goals at the start of the season. They've had five different goal scorers in the last three games as well. So it does show that there's maybe starting to build a little bit more of that team feel. Of course, there was a big changeover with different players uh, compared to last season. Maybe that team is just starting to gel and really come into their own now. And, you know, they're, they're starting to find people that they can rely on to score goals as well. Um, but... It's not going to be easy, this game. They're going to come up against away from home against a, a Sunderland team. And, of course, this is another derby in itself, isn't it? Of course, it's not their biggest of games against each other. But Sunderland versus Middlesbrough is very much a derby. And, you know, um, Sunderland go into this in very good form. They've won four of the last five games. Um, you know, they've got some fantastic players themselves. What an in, a great individual. Well, I say individual performance, of course, not individual. But what a great performance from Barr once again. For Sunderland, he looks like some real, real good player. And, you know, they obviously got the win against Watford and currently sit in a very good fourth position. I think this is going to be a good game because it's two informed teams that are going to not be afraid of going at each other. It's going to be a game that's going to have a good atmosphere as well. I am going to go Sunderland just to edge it, though, in this one. I am going to go 2-1 to Sunderland. Let's move on. Speaking about Leicester, who take on Stoke. And Leicester, of course, have equaled the best ever start to a championship season after 10 games, 27 points from a possible 30. And they did it in some style, beating up. Well, it's a very good Preston team. And of course, this was Preston team that, um, you know, they, they seem to have dropped off a little bit in terms of form. But they really did dominate them. Over 75% possession in the game. Um, they really, you know, 3-0, sweep them aside. And they come up against the Stoke team who... Well, looks just not going their way, is it, at the moment, actually? I mean, you know, it was another defeat in midweek, but they did have some very controversial points coming in there. Of course, um, there was fighting towards the end of the game and you know, there was that big penalty decision where the Stoke obviously should have been rewarded a penalty. One of their players literally got speared to the ground. And it was interesting, actually, to see that 
although it was another defeat, looking at the fans and what they were saying on social media, it was one of those performances where they really are at least still showing some heart. They're showing some fight, quite literally. But I don't think that's going to be enough to come up against this Leicester team. I expect Leicester to get the job done. I think it'll be another three points, and I've gone for 3-1 in this game. Let's move on to speaking about Plymouth, who take on the Swansea team, who, again, are another one of those teams that started the te uh, season really poorly. But Swansea are building up some form now. Three wins in the bounce. Um, they've managed eight goals in their last three games. And I think that's really important for Swansea because they lost, obviously, their two main forward men in the summer transfer window. And it looked really like for some time you were looking at Swansea going, well, you're playing all right football, but where are your goals going to come from? Well, they've answered that. They've started to get goals on the board. Eight goals in the last three, as I say. So I imagine the Swansea fans are really feeling um, a lot more upbeat. Um, when it comes to Plymouth, obviously, it was a bit of a shock um, defeat, actually, when it comes to Plymouth at home anyway, because usually they have great home form. Um, before that, they'd won four of the last um, three of the last four home games that they had in this season. Um, of course, they've now won three out of the last five home games. Um, and they've done they've done it against some impressive impressive teams as well. You know, beating a team like Norwich at home, um, the home form is going to be a massive factor for Plymouth. You just wonder against the really informed Swansea team, is that going to be enough? Just the fact they're at home, I think they'll still get something. But I have gone for a two all draw in this one, and I do think if I had to pick a winner, I probably would have gone Swansea rather than Plymouth, but I've gone for a draw anyway. Let's move on. Speaking about Coventry, who take on Norwich next, and of course, Coventry, they got a late winner tonight, um, and it was one of them, wasn't it? it? It was kind of like the Coventry of old last season. They loved a late winner, and um, they've had it been done to them the other way this season. They seem to be conceding late goals, but no, they were back at it. They managed to get the win, and it, it's a common, it's a big win for Coventry as well. They'll be wanting to try and turn their form around and start to build a bit of, um, you know, just some good form, try and get up that table. Norwich are one of those teams, though, that they're coming up against, but have obviously know where the goal is, but also know how to concede a goal as well, and that keeps getting them really unstuck, you know. When you're conceding at least um, a couple of goals a game uh, at times, um, it, it's going to be hard to uh, beat a team, isn't it? You you are really going to have to always be scoring quite a lot of goals. And that's why they, I think they're finding themselves in a position where they're coming unstuck at the moment, uh, Norwich. Um, you know, they've definitely got the attacking prowess to be further up the table, but defensively they need to try and sort themselves out. I think this is one of these games, like most of the championship games, really could go either way. Um, so I've gone straight down the middle. I've gone for a 1-1 one -one draw, a one all draw in this one. Let's move on. Speaking about Cardiff, um, who take on Watford. And, you know, uh, Cardiff did obviously uh, lose at the uh, the midweek games. But it's interesting. They did change their front three, um, I noticed. And you will wonder whether that was their main downfall, really. Um, it's important to obviously rotate in this championship season. It is a long season. But maybe the changes of their front three, changing that up did cost them getting the result at the week. Because before that, obviously, Cardiff came into that prior game in fantastic form. They take on a Watford team who are far from in good form. And obviously, I saw on Twitter um, a couple of days ago the announcement. And I thought, oh, Watford are definitely getting rid of another manager, especially after a really poor start to the season. I think it was a contract extension. Now, Watford aren't really one to back their manager. And I don't think this backing of the manager makes much sense either because they've started the season very poorly. Um, you know, for... To finally show loyalty to a manager is, is quite confusing because I don't think it's a manager that's really deserved it. But, of course, the manager has got a contract extension. And you do just wonder, well, does that show where Watford are as the club at the moment? The fact that they're going, you know, you, you've done well enough for a contract extension despite where they sit in the table. And, of course, they followed that up after extending their contract with another defeat. I think Cardiff win this one. I honestly do. I, I do fear for Watford this season, how things are looking for them. And I've actually gone Cardiff to Watford nil. I expect Cardiff to return and get their form back on track. Um, let's move on. Speaking about Saints now who take on Rotherham. And for Southampton, it was an interesting one, wasn't it? Because, you know, they've followed the, what was four straight defeats with two back-to-back -back wins. And you suddenly think, are oh, Saints now building at least a bit of confidence? Um They've clearly got the players to be well in this league, but, you know, those four straight defeats were just 
really out of character, really. And it really was one of those that they needed to turn around and have. They come up against a Robin team, you know, probably where you'd expect them to be in the table. As I said at the start of the season, they were one of my teams that I expected to go down. But I do think this Robin team is better than I, I thought they were going to be. And I've seen to do have some resilience about them. But it's got to be a big ask, I think, to get a result against Saints. And I don't think they will. I've actually gone for Southampton to win this one 2-0. Let's move on and speak about Millwall. The uh, Lion takes on the Tiger in Hull City. Um, this is going to be an interesting game, isn't it? Because, you know, um, Millwall at home typically usually have a good record. Um, and as for Hull, they had a bit of a big defeat, didn't they? Against a very good, let's say, a very, very good team in Ipswich. But it was a 3-0 defeat. And I think they'll be wanting to bounce back. Of course, um, Millwall come into this game, home game after a big 2-0 away win against a Plymouth team, which is not easy to beat. Um, especially when they're the home team. So I think this is going to be an interesting game. This, again, one of those I could see going either way. But I just have a feeling with this one, when I was trying to think what my scoreline is going to be, I just something in my gut is telling me that Hull will bounce back in this one. So I've gone for a narrow win of 2-1 to Hull. Let's move on to speak about Leeds next, who take on Bristol City. And it's a Leeds team who, um, you know, are obviously pro progressing well. Um, they've really started to pick things back up. And if I'm not mistaken, Leeds are now finding themselves back in the playoffs. I say back in the playoffs, for the, in the playoffs um, that, you know, they've obviously picked up some form. Um, only one defeat in their last five. And yet I've just double checked as I'm recording this to find themselves in sixth position now. And they'll be wanting to continue that. They'll be wanting to go and advance further on up the table. And I think they'll find themselves, um, in, in, you know, with good confidence to go and do that against the Bristol City team who aren't a bad team, but they just seem to be ticking over here or there. Don't think they're going to be in any danger of going down. From what I see, I don't think they're quite good enough to be challenging the top six either. Um, but I think they'll just nicely tick over over the course of the season. They'll probably get some shot defeats, but they'll get some shot wins as well. But in this one, I do think Leeds will get the business done, especially with it being at Ellen Road. So I've gone Leeds three, Bristol City one. Let's move on to speak about um, Sheffield Wednesday next to take on Huddersfield. And... One thing I want to start off with was Sheffield Wednesday because it, things are just really horrible, aren't they, for the, the fan base at the moment. But fair play to that fan base. They took 2.1 thousand fans away to West Brom midweek. I, I think fair play for them. I'm going to give them a clap on stream because, you know, it, it really is a horrible season. Um, going into every game, kind of feeling like you're going to lose. And I'm sure it must have got to that stage now. But still taking some unreal support away from home, especially. Um, but they come up against a Huddersfield team who um, turned things around slightly. But it was a huge defeat to Blues. It was a 4-1 defeat to Birmingham. And you do wonder if, that, if that's going to knock them back a bit. This is going to be one of them Sheffield Wednesday at home coming up against Huddersfield. They're going to want to at least try and get something. And they really do need to get something if they've got any hope of trying to turn things around this season. It does feel at the moment Sheffield Wednesday might be one of those teams to go out this league with a whimper. But you put your fingers crossed, don't you? And you think, can they at least turn it round? I'm going to bat them to get something, actually. I originally had wrote 2-1 down um, to Huddersfield, but I've changed my mind on stream and I've decided, you know what? I'm actually going to go for 1-1 in this game. I'm going to give Sheffield Wednesday a point, a much-needed point for them as well. We now have a QPR who take on Blackburn next and it is 20th versus 22nd. And let's be honest, both of these teams really could do with a win. Of course, I've probably expected Blackburn to probably be slightly further up the table than where they find themselves. Um, it is a team that have proven in the course of the championship so far that they have got goals in them. But things just don't seem to be going right. And of course, the same can be said for a QPR team that find themselves obviously, well, in a very bad position at the moment, kind of continuing where they left off from the previous season. This is two teams that really could do with a win. Um, I think I'm just going to edge this one to Blackburn now. I don't know why. I just fancy them just to edge it. I'm going to go 2-1 to Blackburn. But whichever team wins this, it could be much needed and it could mean that they do see themselves climb up the table a bit. 
Let's move on to speak about Ipswich now, who take on Preston. Of course, fast forward, well, go back, or should I say, a couple of weeks ago, probably three, four weeks ago. These would be two teams that are going at each other with fantastic form, really taking on each other at the heights of their prowess. But since then, it looks like Ipswich have continued, but Preston have kind of halted a little bit. Really disappointing to see Preston get beat 3 0. Um, against Leicester City. And apart from the defeat itself, it was also the manner in which it was done. As I mentioned earlier in the video, less than 25% possession in that game Preston managed. In fact, it was as low as 23% possession. And it's one thing to go and get beat against Leicester. Let's face it, a lot of teams will get beat by Leicester this season. But it's another to do it in the manner that they have. And it's really disappointing to see that the goals have also dried up a little bit for Preston. I think going because of that, going into this game against an Ipswich team town, an Ipswich town team which seem full of confidence and really do seem like the real deal. I think they're going to at least at least get the playoffs this season. But the, the way they've started, they'll be looking to get that second place uh, route to the Premier League. I think I'm going to give it to Ipswich, and I'm, <clears throat> I'm going to go two nil. Guys, if you have enjoyed the video, please do let me know in the comments your predictions. Please hit that like button as well. And if you can do me one last massive favour, hit that subscribe button too. It would be massively appreciated and I'll catch you on the next video. Take care. Goodbye.